Damn it, he saw us, I think. They saw us. Hmm, this is kind of rough. Let's start taking him out again. There should be several people up in here. They followed me. Well, that was super intense. Okay, I'll take it. Is oh. it you again? Shut up. We're getting a lot of raw whalebone, which is interesting. I don't we don't really use much of it, honestly. Have we grabbed Yeah, we have we've grabbed all of these sucking devices already. So there's no point in holding them. I can't wait to get more of those um, traps and just be able to bait people into rooms like this. No. Better to a friend. You don't know what you're getting into with this black magic. There's so many dead bodies down here. I poked around and found that the big reward bone charm stashed upstairs in a workshop. Stealing it is your problem, but take my advice. If you can't handle the brute without some powerful bone charm, you'd not, better not mess with Jeanette Lee and her goons. I know you're here somewhere. No, you don't. You again. No. Did she actually just two shot me? Dang it. <laughs> kind of getting used to the mechanics again, I guess. No Alright, so we're going to go down here and there's going to be a bunch of people. But they actually might have been baited up here. What do you want? And so he might be able to just jump down and get down. Yeah, I know. You're always watching. Alright, so it looks like there's just this guy up here right now. Or in the main room. No, there's two. So that's quite a few of them. We have one more shock dart left. Let's just, let's jump down and kill this guy. And let's grab the bone drum. I think there, there's one more. Where are you? You crazy lady? Come out. Hmm. 
She must have gone upstairs. As I predicted. <laughs> this place really pulls in coin. You've collected quite the good amount of coin. Psst, there's a bone charm nearby. Yeah, yeah, we just grabbed it. It was right there. This was the this was the bone charm I was talking that about. Never lost a fight. So you're back? Oh, they found me. Do not touch. I don't know how this thing works, but it keeps the brute under control and in the pit. Have your fun, but watch out. When I've got my money's worth, our leaders will want to eyeball him. They want to take his eyeballs out. Uh, I'm just joking because it tells you. Yeah, it tells me every time I go near it. It's because in this game, unlike previous games, there's no mechanic that lets you see like through areas and where things are. So I think it wants to warn you to make sure you um, are capable of finding them. We were lucky to find the vicious cur for other studies. You've seen him fight. If he gets out, he'll kill us all. So don't turn off the machine. I'll fill my pillow with your hair. I won't let her stay. Wait, did Dow just kill everybody? He did. Dow, Lurk. I knew you'd seek me out one day. He is so pale, Jesus. I didn't think it would be like this. You were hard to find. So he just teleported out and killed everyone le left in here. So let's talk somewhere else. Which would have been another yeah, way to do this, apparently. Secrets, I think. You know. I've got a ship, or what's left of it. The dreadful whale. It's docked below the Akintila repair station. Dowd, I... Say whatever you want to say, Billy. That you're here now is enough. I need your help. Like old times? Those days are Like gone. old times! This is something bigger. One last job. I can do it. Who's the mark? The one responsible for it all. The cults. The black magic. This mark on my hand. We're gonna kill the black eyed bastard himself. What? The. You want to kill the outsider? Hopefully not. You want to kill God. It's super weird because they aren't showing up on the follow channels for me. Interesting. Maybe refresh. Twitch also does that the sometimes. Got me jumping There's right a lot of. Um, shit. <laughs> random times. Back on the dreadful whale. When that kind of stuff happens. When you just randomly, people, streamers just kind of randomly disappear. So these, all these people have lore on them, which is pretty cool. Thomas, you don't know what you're getting into with this black. Oh, this is the same thing. We've already read that one. We're gonna do one last cursory sweep. Make sure we grabbed everything we can. <laughs> ah, yes, there you are. <laughs> yep. This rat stuff is so nasty. Who the heck thinks of this? Oh, we should check down here and make sure there's nothing. These are all the people Dowd has killed, maybe? Or other fighters, potentially? Oh, come on. Alright. What? Who just... Oh. What? Over there! In the stairs! Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Let's finish her! You aren't going anywhere! Are you ready? Later, I'll be here. laughing over You won't get away! He just shot his friend. Oh! Jesus, nope, stop shooting me. Nope, nope, nope. Oh god. Okay, so this the veterans are slightly stronger than the rest of them. Guys unconscious. That guy lost his hand completely. I'm back, Eakin! What's up, man? We just basically completed our the first mission, so you're right on time. We saved Dowd and he murdered everyone in here. You can see the pools of blood where he walked out killing everyone. Let's make sure we don't have any other contracts that we can possibly get. We finished both the contracts in this area. Got all of this lore which we've been reading through. 
Suppression device key. Oh, we learned about the suppression device. Okay. Yeah. We gotta throw you a quick update. I wanna get, make sure we grab all this loot so we can buy it from people. And we also wanna find... If there is a black market, we wanna find it. Though it doesn't look like there is one here. So hey, civilian. Fishy happening in there. Strange people. Come Spring Razor is nice. Wait. So we just got a Spring Razor, but it doesn't. It's not showing up in our inventory. That's strange. We also got the double jump, which is nice. Okay, spring. Oh, so we actually have to go get the spring razor. Maybe we need to bind it to five. There we go. That does it. What if we can get up to this? If it looks like we should be able to. But also maybe like we can't. At least not yet. Alright, I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything we can in this in this area. Back to the dreadful whale and dog. Oh, Jesus, there's more people. No mercy. See ya. In games like these, I definitely have a preference for sneaking. Um, I honestly just find it more fun. You're gonna see us doing a lot of sneaking. Oh, Someone open is asking this for door. trouble over there. <laughs> I think that killed two people, actually. It did, yeah. Mmm, you could have sneaked through here to catch this guard by surprise if we didn't want to use the spring razor there. Pretty nifty. Wow, that thing had a wide range. It killed this guy, like, it pushed him all the way out there. It's kind of crazy. Oh, let's actually equip our bone charm, the last one we got. Damn! Right? If anything, the, the creators of this game are creative uh, with their ways of killing people. <laughs> There's a new weapon in this game that we just found that literally sucks any nearby human with so much force near it that it, pull, it like pulls their entire body in half. Oh, that's cool. So these are bone charms with the negative side effects. And so we're, we're probably going to stay away from those. We also want to try and craft some, potentially. We need to remember how to craft them. Oh, we have to upgrade somehow to that. Alright. I guess we'll learn that in future missions. All right, let's go. Let's return to the Dreadful Whale. I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything and finished all of the contracts that we can finish in this area. So we, again, our next run will probably be one of these. It'll probably be a no-kill ghost run that we're going to try and do. Um... This run, we're going to be killing people, we're going to be doing everything, but we're also going to be doing every contract that we can. 
the next run, since we're going to be doing no kill and ghost probably, it won't be, we won't be doing as many contracts as we can. <laughs> See, very lethal and very uh, non-stealthy. Oh, we got almost all the coins for that level as well. You remember we're trying, we also need to remember to try and find every painting. Cool, let's go. Continue. Ooh, I'm enjoying the game so far. It's The story is fairly straightforward, but it's kind of what you would expect from a DLC, right? It's not supposed to be convoluted. Uh, definitely interesting, though. When I first caught sight of Doubt, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill, his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. But he's still I a badass. That carves you up inside. But I found him, and he wants me to help him make up for a they, lifetime of sins. They had him in there, by killing a god. Literally making people the fight against him, that and he never lost. Praise on weakness. That the void is the source of doubt heresy and suffering that the outsider is to blame for all our ills huh. who knows maybe they're right we're also going to be killing the outsider the in this playthrough dream. if we get the chance my arm hacked away my eye hollow and burning it still aches let's hope it's not some kind of omen let me tell you something about the void billy lark hey there's the there's the outsider dreaming and the dying alike. And sometimes, dreams can only tell you what you wanted to forget. I know who you are. Why are you here? What do you want from me? People usually want something from what me. What in the void? But you don't want my mark, do you, Billy? So I will return something you lost. Wait, what are you? Ah! The world was wounded around you. No! And you carry the scars. You will never be the same. I wonder if you'll like him. What did he do to me? Of course he shows up now. Shit! Shit! He took my arm! And my face! Is it because of the dreams? Oh no my god! That's so cool! Okay. So, like I mentioned earlier, in the past, yeah, there's an alternate timeline where Billy lost her arm. The per the person we're currently playing as, Billy Lurk, lost her arm and her eye. She's now considering killing the outsider, and since there was a timeline where she lost her arm and her eye, um, but it was fixed by the other main characters of this game in Dishonored 2. They cr they went back in the past and fixed her arm and stuff, prevented her from receiving those injuries. However, the outsider, who's this like godlike figure. He just visited her and reversed the injuries that were then reversed last time. So she just lost her arm and her eye again. As you can see, her arm is really messed up. It's like half of it's gone. Oh, Jesus, that's weird. All right, the lonely rat boy and other tales. He had walked for hours, limping unsteadily, crossing the city as he avoided those who prowled the streets at night. He had found himself in an unknown part of Dunwall, his little rat nestled against his neck, one spot of warmth in the cold. A gentle sound beckoned him down an alleyway. He hesitated, then followed. The walls were slick with rainwater, the sound glancing off at stones like an echoing throat. At the end of the path rose a twisted construction of wood and wire. A piece of carved and polished bone hummed within. The boy heard a voice like the voice of the waves, cold and timeless. A shadow rose up, a radiant darkness that defied all sight. A young man who wandered lonely places, the outsider himself. So the outsider is the one who just visited us. He's the, the god figure. Sort of god. He's not all-knowing, but he has like the powers of a god. When the flesh of the boy's left hand itched and smoldered, he did not look away. When the vision vanished, the outsider's mark remained. That night, the boy climbed to the highest of Dunwall's jagged roots and looked over the city. The towers and gabbles undulated under his eyes like a grand and shifting ocean. He saw all the lives that teemed beneath and was not afraid. <laughs> what are you asking what to, Egan? I can try and explain further if you would like. 
So this is our second, oh no, this is our travel log. Follow the ink. He's here on my ship, asleep in Anton's old, co old cot. How long has it been down in that pit of Obaka Baths? Taunted by hounds until the fool thought they could take him on? So he, now we're talking, we just wrote in our diary about how Dodd is here. Oh, let's, let's look and see if we have any other contracts. No, we don't. Oh, there's the painting we found. And there's Dald. Are you confused about the arm and the eye? The outsider did this. What did he say? I've had bad dreams for a while now. And he was never there. But I feel good. Strong. Like all those years ago when we ran together. He didn't offer me his mark. Just said some cryptic shit. And left me with this. I never knew what the black-eyed bastard wanted. Be careful. The outsider's gifts come with a price. You won't know until it's already been paid. <coughs> I didn't have much choice. Neither do I. My connection to the void is fading. We've got to act soon. Before it takes me forever. You found a way to do it. To kill the outsider. How? I spent years looking for an answer. I searched the aisles, tracked down a dozen crazy cults. But there's more to the eyeless. They've got a relic, the knife that made the outsider. Thousands of years ago, it's here, in Karnaka. A knife. So you want me to steal it? Soon. First, we need to find out who leads the eyeless and where they keep that knife. They're powerful people, wealthy or noble or both. I don't know their names, but they all have an esoteric tattoo that sets them apart. Those low-ranking huh, at the boxing club talked about getting inked in the Red Camellia in the Upper Syria district. I'll go there and see what I can find. Try to rest out. I couldn't do this on my own anymore, Billy. Thank you. So those new to the Dishonored uh, universe, the, again, the Outsider is a godlike figure who was created thousands of years ago by a cult, and they sacrificed him and gave him all these powers, and now he lives forever, basically. And so that was who just visited us in the room and took our arm back. Uh, he basically just converted our arm back to the alternate reality. This is a picture of him. All our lives, the Abbey of the Everyman tells us to hate him. For once... They're right. So and we're currently we trying to kill him. Now? They'd kill us as soon as him if they had the chance. No. The because we believe Billy and Dog. And we don't need it. Both of us are assassins. We are pivotal, like, antagonists in the previous games. We both believe that we've done horrible things throughout our entire life, and the one way to rectify that is to kill this guy. Put our uses to the... To a real, to do real good finally, and kill the outsider who has been meddling in human affairs, giving people power randomly and just watching, whether it be good or bad. That's not possible. She can see, see my all. arm, my eye. The void it's just like the dreams. Like the sea of singing bullshit. So the reason this is weird is because. This painting technically doesn't exist anymore because it was taken in the current reality, the one before we, the, the different reality that we did not lose our arm and our eye, and he just converted us back to the alternate reality where we do, see in this picture you can see how we don't have an arm and an eye whenever it flashes. It's a bit confusing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand here and say that the story is not confusing at all, but... Time. It's definitely it's interesting. Is that it's got that Where going for it? That? I haven't seen that face in years. Whenever they, whenever people write time travel into a game, it just gets kind of weird. Always does. But I can't say I'm an advocate for it because I feel like there's much better ways of driving plot. But at the same time, I mean, it, it's it's kind of worked here. It's pretty cool. All right. So we're currently about to go back into Karnaka to steal the sword 
or the knife that originally created the outsider on the guess that if we can find that knife it will allow us to kill him because it's the one that created him that's pretty cool I guess we don't have any contracts yet but I think we can find new contracts at the at the black market shops in Karnaka so we'll, we're gonna go do that All right, let's go. Go to Upper Syria. And as you can see, our arm is super messed up. <laughs> 